Hello YouTube. Today marks the first day of my vacation and it also marks day one of renovating this picnic table that we found recently. So I've already taken out all the hardware from it. We're gonna replace that. We're gonna go out in town and get some power tools so I can chop off all the dead pieces and start taking things apart so we can sand it, refinish it, and put it back together so it's brand new so we can have it for our future outdoor events that we might be hosting when seasons turn over here because it's starting to get into fall and maybe we can even get a outdoor fire pit again but today we're getting everything for that my wife's getting everything done for our trip that's happening in the coming weeks that we're also preparing for speaking of which we got a pack for that tonight and after that, we will be venturing to one of the convenience stores to check up on the way that we pay our cell phone bills here in Japan. Here's the picnic table and what it will look like before we start doing anything to it. probably don't know is that here in Japan there's only two places that Americans can take out yen out of ATMs one of those places is where I'm at right now and that is the Japanese post office the other place is the 7-eleven and those are seven and eye holdings that they call them here but it's similar to 7-eleven back in the States but with the 7-Eleven, you can only take out $100 at a time. But at the post office, you can take out increments of $10. And recently, they've added a uh, surcharge to the totals of what you're pulling out. All right, so I have two $100 bills and one $10 bill that I'm gonna be taking to a Lawson's to get paid. So in the States, of course you're driving on the right hand side of the road, but here in Japan, you're driving on the left. And in the States, in most states, you can take a right hand side turn without even thinking about it and go ahead and take it. And here, you can do that on the left hand side, of course, since we're on the other side of the road and we have to wait in line on the right hand side. And everything is pretty much as easy as that. I just hand them a bill, the money, and it goes into the cell phone company's bank account and I'm good as new. You can also print out stuff, fax stuff, you can buy almost any sort of type of ticket for like a any event and uh, you can pretty much do anything at one of these convenience stores. One thing I have to get used to is turning on the mic before I take a video. Already today there's been at least like 10 to 20 videos of me just rambling on talking about some good stuff you know, not having to stop and restart things, and my mic's not on. So that's something I have to get used to. Um, this microphone is the Tacstar G, no, SGC598, and it has like an on and off switch, um, a, a booster to get me more volume in the videos, and it has another switch with a couple lines on it. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Probably it's better explained in one of the uh, review videos that I've looked at about this mic, but I haven't picked up on it. I have, in fact, found out a way to not get my starting the video shot in, in my actual videos. And I can use my thumb 
to press on the up volume control on my phone and it starts the video so you don't see me climb over the microphone and everything. And we are at Hama Sushi for our sushi train needs. And I got a haircut. So we are at Hama Sushi right now. My wife is picking out my selections of fish that I like to order. But we're at lunchtime on a Friday. So a lot of the American people are gonna be here ordering their lunch. So all you gotta do is use this screen right here. Here I can check out carpet cleaners, weed whackers, fans, ladders, um, shovels and lawn care, and pretty much anything. I can also check out the sander and the um, circular saw. And I also need to check out some uh, bits. Alright, we just got back from the place where we got our tools. And here we have a uh, circular saw. So now we're going to grab some of the hardware that I have for it and we're going to go try and see if we can match it up out in town and grab new stuff so we can make this table look brand new and lively. So we are at the Japanese Home Depot or Lowe's aka Homac. We are getting hardware for our picnic table and we just have to find some screws which we are definitely in the right aisle for. We need to find sandpaper too if they have it because I need 60 grit. Well I got the goods. We uh, even found the board that we needed to replace and we didn't even need a cut. We are all set on this picnic table. Should be able to complete it this weekend if we uh, have enough uh, supplies on hand. So tonight for dinner, we're having rice, dumplings, and our delicious Korean lentil barbecue. It's always a big hit in our house whenever we make it, so it's gonna be good in our tummies tonight. This is my favorite snack in all of Asia wasabi rice cracker chips they are absolutely delicious and if you see them in an Asian store you need to buy them and try them all right YouTube that's all the video wing for today got my plate that's a wrap